The singer-songwriter Billie Eilish just made her debut at the year's biggest music festival, Coachella, and she had a couple embarrassing moments, but as always, there's a lot that we can learn from this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is pull different topics from pop culture to try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, Coachella, ooh, what a great time of year. I love going to shows. I absolutely love going and seeing live music. I live in Las Vegas so there's a ton of concerts that come. But when it comes to Coachella, it seems, it seems like my worst nightmare. Uh, I get social anxiety um, and regular anxiety in very large crowds. I'm gonna be touching on social anxiety in this video, so if you struggle with that, I'm gonna give some tips that help me out. But anyways, I get a lot of anxiety in very large crowds, and just being at Coachella for like days on end seems like my worst nightmare. But if you like Coachella, you do you. Me, I've been sitting on my couch watching Coachella with my beautiful girlfriend. So anyways, yeah, let's talk about what happened. It's already making news and headlines, which is kind of ridiculous, and I like to take a different angle on my channel because I believe everything that we're consuming as far as content, there's things that we can learn from it, all right? So I do like, you know, recaps of like movies and uh, TV shows, and I try to dissect song lyrics and see what's going on in pop culture, but I already explained all that. So anyways, yeah, Billie Eilish, she had a performance last night at Coachella. So there was a couple, there was a couple embarrassing moments, all right? So the first one is, I was stoked because I love, I absolutely love me some Vince Staples. So here's what happened when Billie Eilish brought out Vince Staples. right well then when Billie Eilish went on to sing uh, her song all the good girls go to hell this happened so yeah not one but two pretty embarrassing moments so the, the point of this video, I want you to think about this for a second. I want you to just imagine, put yourself in Billie Eilish's shoes and ask yourself how you would react to this situation. Like a lot of us who get anxiety or even social anxiety, like so many of us, we dwell on the past. We dwell on things that happen that we have no control over. We can't go back in time. We can't change it. And by the way, real quick disclaimer, I'm not a licensed therapist or anything like that. I'm just somebody who has struggled with anxiety for most of my life. So I want to talk about some tips and tools that I use, right? So anyways, if you think about that, most of us, we wouldn't even be able to sleep that night. But Billie Eilish, she has like, not only did she do this in front of a live audience, but she also has, you know, a bunch of news outlets and things like that already talking about it, all right? So the first thing I wanna talk about when it comes to Billie Eilish and what happened at the show is embarrassment as a whole. So like, a lot of what helps me out with my anxiety and just my own personal mental health is acknowledging that it's all about perspective, not all of it. There are chemical imbalances and things like that, don't get me wrong. All right, but a lot of it, a lot of it has to do with perspective. So embarrassment, for example, ex embarrassment is a very subjective experience, okay? What does that mean, okay? So embarrassment, when you look at embarrassment, what is embarrassing? It is not a black and white thing. It's not, this is embarrassing for one person, so it's embarrassing for all people. No, that's not how it is. When we get embarrassed, it is completely based on our own reality. What just happened to us, what we went through, the way that we feel is us. It's us, it's not the way other people react. It's us, you see what I mean? So if you look at Billie Eilish, for example, you have people who could be laughing, making fun of her and things like that, but if she does not care, then the feeling of embarrassment does not exist. And that's so important. And this is something that I'm even teaching my 10 year old son. Kids get embarrassed all the time, right? And I teach him this all the time. I'm like, Dylan, this is 
completely how you feel about that situation, all right? So we need to think about that. Like, one of the examples I was thinking of before making this video is like, Look at like old slapstick comedy, right? Like the Three Stooges or Laurel and Hardy and things like that, or even Charlie Chaplin. Like these were guys, um, and uh, even I Love Lucy, who was a woman uh, making a TV show back in the day, they did things which would be embarrassing, but they did it to themselves, right, as a form of comedy. So think about that. Is that embarrassing for them? No. And one would argue that they have control over the situation, that's why, da, 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 all that nonsense. But what I'm saying is, is like, we need to just look at our perspective of it and be like, what am I embarrassed about? Why am I embarrassed about this? What's going on, okay? The second thing is, that really helps me out a lot, which Billie Eilish is a great example of at her Coachella performance, is learn to laugh at yourself. Learn to laugh at the silly things that happen. Like, you guys, life is silly. Life is just this big, goofy experience that all of us are living in. And one of the things that, you know, really trips a lot of us up is this idea of perfection. So many of us latch onto this idea of perfection with this kung fu grip, and we're like, you know what? I gotta be perfect, I gotta act perfect, nothing can ever mess up, right? All of my perfectionists out there, you know exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. But when you learn to just laugh at yourself and realize that silly things are going to happen, that feeling of embarrassment, like from my experience, it starts to go away. Because I can laugh at myself. I can be like, oh, well, I goofed that up. You know what I mean? It helps me all the time. Like as somebody who, ha I used to have crippling, crippling social anxiety. Like I cannot put it into words. Like just having conversations and everything like that. I was constantly tripping over my words. My brain was going a million miles a minute and all these other things, right? But when I started to build my own self-love and self-compassion and confidence, like I can be in these situations and I can laugh at myself because here's the thing, I hate to burst your bubble, but we are all, we are all going to screw up and do something silly at one point in time. So when we learn to laugh at ourselves, we take some power away from that situation. If somebody wants to be a D-bag and keep laughing at you about it or trying to make fun of you about it, like think about how much power it takes away from them when you're like, yeah, that was something silly, all right? So the last thing that I wanna talk about when it comes to what happened um, with Billie Eilish at Coachella is like something I respect about so many performers and so many people that just put themselves out there, put themselves on stage, whatever it is, and it's keep moving forward, all right? It happens and you just let it go. This is why I keep talking about mindfulness to all of you, because it brings you back into the moment. Moment, moment, moment. You let go of the past, you quit tripping about the future. Like Billie Eilish could have used that as an experience. Again, put yourself in her shoes. How many of us would have been so embarrassed that we just ran off stage, right? But the thing is, when you keep moving forward, what it's done for me is it helps retrain my brain to just let things go. And I respect that about Billie Eilish, I respect that about so many other performers. And this is why I keep just trying to shove it into your head, right? Like. We need to take lessons from the things that we're consuming. Like how many people are watching Coachella and like, oh my God, Billie Eilish just forgot her song lyrics. Oh, right? Like I'm trying to teach you to sit back with a different perspective and saying, Billie Eilish forgot her song lyrics. What can I take from this? What can I learn from this? How can this help me in my daily life, right? Because some of you, you have jobs where you have to you know, do presentations. Some of you might be in school right now and you have to do presentations uh, there. Like for me, like working um, at a drug and alcohol treatment center for a few years, like I had to constantly do groups like in front of 50, 60, 70, sometimes over a hundred people, right? And I had to learn how to just deal with things and keep moving forward. And something that helps me out, and I don't know if this is a perspective that Billie Eilish takes, but I get out of my, my selfish train of thinking, which is, it's all about me, because when I do things like YouTube or you know doing groups at the treatment center I was working at, it's for them. So if I crumble, they can't get what they're there to get out of it, right? And Billie Eilish, she's there to put on a show, put on uh, you know a concert, and people are there to enjoy themselves, and they paid money to be there, and they're sitting in a crowd of a billion people freaking out, right? So she keeps moving forward. So I want you to think about all these things that we're talking about, and think about how you keep moving forward. like. Here's something that I'll be completely honest about. Some people talk about, you know, the minimal editing that I do, or, you know, I could put more effort into my ed editing. And like, like right there, I just, I just tripped up a word. So that's a great example. One of the reasons I don't 
do that is because I want this to be as authentic as possible. Like there's sometimes I really screw up a word or the cats will start fighting or something and I do little jump cuts. But for the most part, I try even with my YouTube channel to just keep moving forward, to just keep going. And it helps, it helps me out a lot because five, six years ago, I would be losing my mind. Hell, I probably wouldn't even have a YouTube channel because I would be editing all day long, cutting out these things. I'd be self-critical saying, oh my God, I sound stupid here, da, 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 da. So one of the things that I do personally for my own well-being with this channel is I, I don't try to cut out every um or stutter or trip up on a word. And I hope maybe some of you are taking from that and saying, oh, well, if Chris has no problem, you know, screwing up words and lines on his videos and hey, maybe I can keep pushing forward too and I don't have to feel so embarrassed about these things. So anyways, Billie Eilish, you go girl. And I hope you all were able to take some lessons from this. All right, but if you're enjoying Coachella, let me know your comments down below. I watched Childish Gambino the other night. Um, I can't wait to watch Churches. I love me some Churches. They are playing tonight. Love it. And there's some other bands I think I think next week and there's some more bands I want to watch anyways. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support the channel, get involved in our monthly Q&A and get some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap right there. All right? Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.